Okay, we uh, looked at the uh, crossover distortion last time. So what is crossover distortion? I've talked about this before, but you have an output that looks something like this. You've got two transistors that are in push-pull, and uh, one of them goes to a plus, and one of them goes to a minus, so one of, them, one of them does the positive part, and then one of them does the negative part, okay? And then hopefully you end up with a nice sine wave on the other side. So this one does the top half conducting, this one does the bottom half conducting, right? Now, if you don't do anything at all, there's, there's diode drops here, right? And so there might be some diode drops, um, and you see it's probably like this, that one and that one and this one. Anyway, you know, it doesn't matter, right? There's some diode drops in there. And um, what can happen is that when you have a voltage coming in here, it takes um, at least a diode drop to start turning this on, right? So from zero volts to like half a volt, this transistor is not going to do anything at all, and then it starts. So what, what generally happens, you get a waveform that looks like this. You get that, and then nothing happens, and then you get the bottom, and then nothing happens. And that's because the, the transistors aren't turning on. As the voltage input looks nice, it needs to get over that one diode drop before it starts turning on, and then in the reverse direction, the same thing, and you get, you get a picture that looks something like this. And that's the way you know you've got crossover distortion. Now, ours was a little worse than that. Ours kind of looked like uh, it went up like this, and then this one like, like started early. It, it, it was like they were overlapped. Instead of spread apart, they were, came in, they were, they were overlapped, and there was this weird little shelf here and stuff. Um, so we had, we had crossed them too much, all right? So the way you do that in a, in a circuit here is that you say, okay, we have one diode drop here. So we'll go ahead and just compensate for that with another diode. And over here we have a diode drop. So we'll just go ahead and compensate for that with another diode drop, right? So now you've taken care of that one, you've taken care of that one, but that just gets you to the very, very bare minimum. And these, these diodes aren't the same as these diodes, right? And so you need to compensate for that. So a good thing to do is to have a resistor here that you can, that you can change and you can balance it and everything. Uh, what what uh, some circuits do is just put in a, uh, a, third, a third diode and they say, mm, maybe that's close enough. So um, what I want to do here is to, uh, we, we have the two diodes. So what we're going to do is we're first going to put in a resistor and see if a resistor works. And then we'll put in a diode and see if a diode works. Okay. So we'll try those two things out. We'll figure out what value of resistor do we need to make it work. And if a three diode thing is good enough, because I've seen that in lots of circuits before. All right, let's uh, refresh ourselves and see that uh, crossover distortion. Uh, so that's what it that's what it looks like. You see these these crossover points here. Let me do single single shot. So um, we are going to try to modify that and and uh, and make it better. So what we're going to do is. Get the schematic out here. All right, so the problem is with the biasing of uh, this pairs of transistors here, these two diodes is not enough. They're, they're, they need to be, the voltage here needs to be bigger than it is. It's a little too, it's a little too narrow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right between the two diodes and I'm gonna insert a resistor. Okay, and then we can make that resistor bigger and that will spread the voltage out. Okay, so uh, I, I'm, I'm putting this in, in series with it. Okay, and all right, so we have uh, 10 ohms. Here's 22 ohms. Here's 47 ohms. Here's 100 ohms. 220, whoop, look, 220 fixed it. So here's 100, 220. Here's 330. So right around, right around 220 ohms, and we've gotten rid of that. Uh, we've gotten rid of that ugly crossover distortion. So uh, let's put it on 220, and um, let's measure the voltage across 
that 220 ohm resistor, okay? So let me get out a, let me get out a voltmeter. And let me go right here across the, across the 220 ohms. And I'm measuring about 0.6 volts. And across the diodes, I'm measuring about 0.6 volts. So if we introduce in one more diode, it should be about right. So let me do that. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but there's my, uh, there's my pointy device. Uh, here is the new, here's the new diode. Here are the other two diodes. So I put it in a series, and now I have three diodes in that series. And let me turn on the power. There we go. Perfect sine wave now. Uh, and if we go up here, sorry for the angle, but we're measuring 0 0.02, 0 0.015 total harmonic distortion at half a volt. Let's, uh, let's increase that up a bit here, a couple volts maybe. Uh, yeah, 0.01%, go up here to 2 volts AC, 0.05%, yeah, so the uh, total harmonic distortion got much better, and so, there's a fix. Um, turn the power off here. Okay, I hope that makes sense, right? Uh, let me draw it, a second here, let me draw it in where I've, where I've put that other diode in here. Okay, so I've... I've added this diode right here. We had these two, and I put in a, a diode, so now we have a three diode drop. And that fixed up our, uh, fixed up our distortion. So if you're gonna buy one of these kits, make sure you put in a uh, extra diode there and an extra diode in the other side, which won't focus, but you know, the other side. <laughs> anyway, yeah, three diodes instead of two diodes.